Good morning. It's 10.46 in the morning. I'm drinking some tea. I'm having some gluten-free chocolate chip banana bread that I made. Life is good. I feel like I've been doing a lot of these videos recently because I'm not even gonna lie to you. I've been stressed. I've been really busy. Like, I feel like I've just barely gotten the chance to catch my breath since, like, Christmas slash holiday insanity. I was working basically every single day. My family was here. I got sick. I feel like I'm still just barely getting over the dredges of the sickness, and it's January 19th. So, I'm just fighting for my life out here, and it's fine. You know what, though? I listened to the gentle art of Swedish death clean at work the other day on audiobook and uh, I cried. I cried at work twice. I didn't expect to react so viscerally to the fact that this old woman, obviously it wasn't the actual old woman that wrote the book, but just like imagining this old woman writing about her dead husband and how she had to clean up all of his stuff and how she felt so lonely that she had to do it by herself. So anyways, I just wanted to do some decluttering because I felt inspired to do so. I feel like I have to go through my entire wardrobe because honestly, I also feel like I hate my entire wardrobe right now, which isn't ideal, you know, being in a no-buy year and all, but it is what it is. I've dug myself into this so-called grave. I did that to myself, so it's fine. I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast, and then we will go around my house and do some decluttering. Honestly, I know that a lot of people don't talk about this in decluttering videos, but my freaking kitchen also needs to be decluttered. I need to, like, reorganize the fridge. It's not looking good in there. And also, I need to kind of get a grip on what is in my pantry and fridge anyway that I can use up and start to use or whatever instead of buying more groceries because you'll get the percentages later but yeah it's not cute it's really not cute so that's what we have to do today we have to declutter we have to maybe go through my wardrobe I'm gonna go through my wardrobe in another video and then we can we can do some deciding we can have some feelings and thoughts about it but today I'm definitely gonna be decluttering let me just stop talking and we'll get to it okay see you in a sec Hello, I'm back. I'm so upset because I literally washed my hair yesterday, but before I did, I put oil in it and I didn't wash it out enough, so my hair is literally still oily. Anyways, le let's start with the shoes. Let's start with the shoes because this has been a long time coming and honestly, I'm tired of dealing with it. Okay, what are we looking at here? So I need to go through my shoes. I have not like a crazy amount of pairs of shoes. Before it was a bit worse uh, when I had a major problem, but you know, now it's manageable and it's fine. So let's go through. I'm just gonna show you all the pairs of shoes that I own. These Uggs that I've literally had for at least 10 years now, maybe more, so that's impressive. These pair of Nikes that I've had for less than a year probably, because I got them to replace my other pair of Nikes that were disgusting and destroyed. These really cute pair of little loafer Mary Jane shoes, super cute, love them when I want to be like slightly fancy, which is not that often. Uh, I have a pair of really old running shoes that I've probably had for five or six, maybe seven years. Again, really old. I've probably had these for seven, seven years? Rainbows. A staple in California. <laughs> these Doc Martin sandals, which I've had for like a year or two. These fake Birkenstocks, which I've had for like three or four years, four, five, I don't know. I don't even know anymore. I think I've had these for five or six years. I think I, maybe seven. I've had them since before I moved to New York. And honestly, like, I don't know if you can see this hole, these literal gaping holes that are in these shoes. These are super fucked up. 
I don't know what to do because I sometimes wear them still. Like when I'm doing rough work or whatever, I did these shoes so dirty. I did not know how to take care of leather shoes when I got these. And by the time that I realized that I had to do things to take care of them, it was honestly too late. So I don't know if I should get rid of them. I don't know if I should try to get the little holes patched, but then I'm like, are they gonna look like shit? Probably, but they already, they already do look like shit. So I don't know guys. Tell me in the comments what you think I should do. Like I do every once in a while wear them still, but not that much. And like I know for a fact that I'm not gonna be like bringing them to New Zealand with me because they are not in good condition. So I'm like, do I just declutter them now? That is still up for debate. These on the other hand are destroyed. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. I have tried to fix them. I have tried to fix them. I've literally used super glue to try to keep that sole connected in there and it's not working. So I'm gonna have to say goodbye to these. I've literally had these since high school, so it's fine. A lot of these shoes, honestly, I've had since high school and I graduated five years ago, five, six years ago. I don't know, whatever. I've had some of those since like halfway through high school. So maybe, anyways, whatever. I've had, I have had a lot of these shoes for a long time. These shoes. Man, I feel like I don't know if I said I would declutter these before in another video, if this looks familiar to you. But I don't remember what I said I did with them in that last video, but I didn't declutter them. If that's what I did end up saying I would do. Here's the thing, guys. I have two pairs of nice shoes. These ones and these ones. I feel like they give off opposite vibes. So it's like, obviously, I can't necessarily wear these in the summer for something. They're more like a winter or fall shoe. And this is more of a spring and summer shoe. But at the same time, they aren't looking great. Like I got them for $40 probably five or six years ago. And I don't know, they've held up pretty, pretty well. Like I think that it's real leather, which is why they're actually doing okay. But the bottom and the sides or whatever, they're kind of yellowing. They're not so white anymore. They've been through a lot with me. So they're feeling a little nostalgic, but at the same time, I'm like, do they even look nice enough to wear when I'm like wearing nice things? But also it's like, yeah, probably. Cause when you go and do nice things, your feet are probably under a dinner table for most of the night. So who cares? I don't really know what to do with them. If I'm gonna be completely honest with you. So maybe this wasn't as successful as I thought. <laughs> I'm only getting rid of a pair of shoes that is literally fully broken. To end off the shoe tour, I have these that my dad got me a couple years ago. Love them, wear them all the time. These that I've had for so long. I got them for $15 from Forever 21. They're my rain boots. They're like Doc Martin style. And then I just got a pair of, what are they called? Blundstones. I can never think of the name immediately. It always takes me a second. Those are all the shoes that I own besides the one pair of cowboy boots that I showed you in another video a couple weeks ago. That's it. So honestly, I don't feel like that's bad. Like I feel like I have a shoe for every occasion not too many extras. The fact that I only have one pair of like casual sneakers and then I have a pair of running shoes is like not ridiculous. Like maybe eventually I'll buy myself another pair of Converse, but at the same time, like Converse are pretty fucking uncomfortable as a shoe, like in general. So maybe I won't because why do people buy Converse? Cause they're popular. I don't need to be doing that anymore in my life. So like maybe I won't do that. Maybe I really won't. Goodbye to these sneakers. Thank you so much for serving me well. Yeah, okay, what now? Should I go through my clothes? I don't know what to go through now. Maybe the kitchen, cause we're already here. Guys, I'm scared. Ugh, and I still have dishes to do. I don't wanna do it, but I know that it'll make me feel better. I also just like, don't wanna come face to face with the, the reality of my kitchen. Like, let me turn the light on. Does that help at all? Mm, not really, but whatever. I feel like at the beginning of my little eczema, what am I allowed to eat journey, <sighs> I bought a lot of things that were like, you know, would be good if I like used the ingredients and made them and like it was gonna be fine and whatever. I have realized through a bit of trial and error that I can actually consume some gluten and it's fine instead of doing gluten-free everything. 
So I have like coconut flour and tapioca flour and I keep buying dates for some reason when I know for a fact that every time I buy dates they just get moldy in my pantry after like 6 to 12 months because I'm not using them. So I don't know what to do. I'm starting to sweat. I'm going to change really quick and like fix my hair because it looks so greasy and disgusting. <sighs> Guys. <laughs> okay. I need to rally myself before tackling this kitchen. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Okay, guys. This is a view of the whole entire kitchen, by the way. Um, in case you're ever curious, even though I literally, you can see it in all the other videos, whatever. Okay. Where do I even start? <laughs> This camera angle makes me actually look really short. I promise I'm not short. I'm 5'7". You know what? My boyfriend would probably be mad, a little disappointed in me if he didn't see me using the little microphone. So I'm gonna do that. First time using it, maybe successfully. I haven't done a test, which he says you should do, but I don't really care. I'm gonna give it a try. The last time that I tried to do this, it turned out so poorly. So let's really hope that it goes better this time. And you know what? Even if this goes horribly wrong and the sound sounds awful, I'm gonna keep all of this in the video just to hold myself accountable to figuring out how the hell to actually do this because he gave this to me for my birthday, which was in November. So turning it on, recording, ready? So I can sync up the audio. Should I move it up? And guess what? <laughs> if this doesn't go well, and I'm just talking into this microphone and it sounds like shit, and you guys are just actually listening to me through this microphone, and just seeing me carry this around, then that will be enough embarrassment for me to figure out how to actually use this. So please shame me in the comments. You'll know. You'll know based on the text that's on the screen. Editing Grace will flame me. Don't worry, she always does. <laughs> Um, anyways, let's get started. What the hell am I doing? Is this realistic for me to be holding this the whole time? I don't know. Anyways, if you guys had any question whether or not I had ADHD or not, I really hope this answers your question. And I hope that you see a bit of yourself in me if you struggle with the same affliction that I do. Anyways. Can we please get started? Oh my God. Um, what do we have here? Should I move you guys closer? Because I feel like you can't see this. Okay, so the pantry, this is literally basically the whole pantry. So the thing is, I feel like I should take note of the things that I have and maybe don't use so much, such as tapioca flour. Um, my dumbass was like, I'll make myself boba. And guess what? I still could. So maybe I'll try doing that because I love boba and I feel like I'm, I don't know if I'm allowing myself to buy it this year during the no buy year. There's no like specific rules that say no, but there's also no specific rules that say yes. So that therefore it would make it a no. So maybe I'll try to do, make my own boba. Maybe I'll do that with you guys in another video. That'd be fun, right? Right? Wouldn't that be fun? Okay, coconut flour. How deluded was I to think that I would learn how to bake bread? Coconut flour bread when I hadn't even made regular bread yet. This is what people with a shopping addiction do in their free time. I was on a low buy last year, so the way that I spent my money manifested a lot in groceries, especially because I was figuring out what kinds of foods I would be able to eat with my diet thing, whatever. I also just realized that I'm talking to the camera and not into my microphone. So I don't know if I'm gonna be switching back and forth between the two clips of audio and I'm just making this so much harder for myself. It is what it is. Buckwheat flour, honestly, I'm not a fan of buckwheat flour. And also it expired in March of 2023. It also tastes like shit, so that's getting thrown away. I'm so glad we're doing this, guys. Am I, I need to be 
writing down a list of things that I should, in fact, be using in my stash. Do I have a piece of paper in here? Yes, I can feel it. What do we have so far? Couscous, we have lentils. What else? Lima beans, which I wanted to make butter beans. I don't know if other people know what this is, if they're not from like the South, but they're really yummy. do I have in my other drawer cabinet thing? It's a little harder for me to set you guys up to see that. So, hold on one second. Hi, y'all. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna close this a little so there's not as much of a bright blinding light. This is a mess. Sorry that it's not like better, closer. Um, okay. Again, there's a couple of things that have been left as the remnants of my eczema rampage of figuring out what things I could eat. Carob powder being one of them when I wasn't allowed to eat chocolate for a little while or like anything with sugar in it. I have no sugar added. Dark chocolate baking bar, which I just need to use this and like make chocolate chip cookies or something. And you know what? These I can give away because I have Silicone ones that I used actually the other day. They're literally just made out of silicone and they are muffin molds. Muffin things, whatever. I used them and I made muffins and it was fine. The heat did not destroy them and everything was okay. Great one-time purchase if you bake. Basically the thing about, yeah, these are expired. The thing about <laughs> these two, food, in a pantry is that a lot of the times you're kind of just checking to see like what has been left there and what is expired. You know what I mean? That's all there is to do. The rest of this is literally just sugar, like straight up. Okay, I got rid of a couple things. That feels nice. Now onto the fridge, I guess. Okay, moving on to the fridge. Should I move the trash can over here? Maybe yes. Okay, I feel like I need to come up with a, with a game plan because it's a mess in here. Oh my God, it is a God awful mess. I don't want to do this anymore. I regret, I regret all of my choices. This is definitely expired. That was easy. Are these even good anymore? They don't look appetizing, so I'm gonna get, get rid of them. Okay, it says best buy. It was never good to begin with. I do not like this brand of kimchi, in my personal opinion. Bibigo is where it's, where it's at. <laughs> I was like planning on maybe using this to make myself some like kimchi fried rice. So it says best buy, which does not mean like it's, you can't eat it. That's the thing, they really try to trick you. Best buy just means it tastes better and it's best eaten by whatever date, but it's not like you can't eat this after this date. Anyways, I don't know. Yeah, kimchi fried rice, okay. I'm gonna try to make kimchi fried rice with this like sooner rather than later because I really wanna get rid of this and get myself the good old classic BB go because I ran out and I'm so sad about it. What do we have here? The still is totally rancid. So I was literally just talking to one of my friends today and I have two full heads of cabbage in here. So it's, it's become a real problem because I had like two and a half heads of cabbage. So I used one of them to make coleslaw, but now I have, I have more. Um, and this one looks like it's just about near moldy. So I think I'm gonna have to peel back a lot of the layers and then turn whatever is left of this into sauerkraut because it's just a regular cabbage and not a Napa cabbage. I have made kimchi before and it turned out like okay, but I really want to try to make sauerkraut with this because I don't want this to go to waste. And I also, I really don't mind the taste of sauerkraut. I've never made it before though. And I, not to my knowledge have any of my ancestors. Actually, maybe. I'm like 1% Polish apparently, so maybe they actually have. <laughs> Anyways, Oliver, if you're watching this, I will make this into sauerkraut. I will certainly try. Even if it goes horribly wrong, we'll see. I don't know. Have 
also totally lied to you guys. I definitely don't have the energy to clean out my entire fridge. I will definitely get rid of the stuff that is like dead, but I'm not, I'm not gonna be cleaning it. <sighs> I'm never buying tofu again. I, I don't cook it and she doesn't use it because I can't eat tofu anymore, which is really sad. Like this is, this actually breaks my heart to throw away. It literally says expired in October. Yeah, okay, fuck. One of these days I'll do a deep clean of the apartment and I'll take you guys along, but today is just not that day. should have shown you a better before but the way that this is so much more organized now I'm feeling pretty happy about that I'm not gonna lie I feel the anxiety just melting away I'm glad that I pushed through and did this even though I didn't want to okay what else do we have time to go through the freezer And look at that, it is so much clearer in there. Nothing, so much more space. Feeling good about that, feeling real good about that. And then the stuff on top of the fridge, it's fine. My thing is overheating because I've been filming inside of this kitchen for 23 minutes now. So, um, what am I gonna do? What am I to do? I'll let this camera cool down for a second and then I'll get back to you with, I don't know what else I'm doing, but. We'll see, we'll figure it out together. I feel much better, I hope you do too. <sighs> wow, nice. Hey y'all, guess what, it's me back in my favorite spot, the couch. I feel like I film most of my videos sitting on the couch, at least at some point, because guess what? It's the main part of the apartment. Everything is connected to the living room and the couch is here. Where else am I supposed to sit? On a metal stool? Only for breakfast or sometimes other meals, but... Oh, I got a Libby notification. <laughs> My favorite kind. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Guess what though? I am in the middle of the third book in the Akatar series and I only have three weeks to finish it two weeks to finish it whatever so the second that I'm done with that I'm gonna deliver this but I don't want to have this for too long and then not deliver later okay I'm gonna deliver it in one week and then I'm gonna try to read it before the end of the month but I also have to read a secret history because of besties book club oh my god okay it's fine the life Life is not over. I need to just calm down. Anyways, I have used up so much of my memory filming today. Also, yes, if you can hear my radiator screaming, I don't wanna be cold. I'm not turning it off just so I can freeze my ass off for you guys. I'm so sorry, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, okay. This is my next <laughs> decluttering dilemma, I suppose I would say. So, as you may or may not know, you probably do if you watch these videos because I don't shut up about it. I have a Kindle, except she's not in here right now. I have been finding myself becoming quite annoyed with the cumbersomeness of this case. Like, yes, it's good that you can flip it up and kind of like, whatever, but you know what? I'm realizing she's grippy. She can stand up on a surface that is flat and if I just lean it up against something, it'll grip, it'll stay. <sighs> so the thing is, and I feel like I talk about this, I literally actually don't shut up about this in my wrap up video that you guys will be seeing the first video of February, but I really wanna get a clear 
case. I really want to get a clear case. And I really want to get stickers with it, but I know that I don't need to do that because that would just be extra. Do I even need a case? Like, do I actually even need to get a case? Because this is fine on its own. I think when I got it, the novelty of a case was like, so fun to me, but I've been reading it like just raw dog in it without a case <laughs> for like a day or two now as I've been finishing book two of Akatar, and I'm honestly not gonna lie to you, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. I didn't even need to buy a case in the first place. So I'm like, do I declutter this? Maybe, I don't know. But then I was like trying to be like, ooh, haha, -ha, I'll just declutter this and then I'll get the clear case because I will be getting rid of one thing and then getting something else to replace it. I don't need to. Like I actually don't, need to, but I really, really want to. <laughs> but I shouldn't. Because the whole point of my no buyer personally is to appreciate what I have. To appreciate what I have, use what I have, figure it out based on my surroundings instead of getting new things to fill a void that is there for a reason. The void is there and you need to get to the deeper root cause. I feel like the root cause of this at least is I just want to be a cute aesthetic little Kindle girly. And like, guess what? I'm a Kindle girly because I have a Kindle, okay? I don't need it to look a certain way or have it be whatever, whatever. I also really wanted to get the ad-free version, but that's like an extra $20 into Jeff Bezos' pocket that I don't want to put. I don't know, guys. It's all about the aesthetic at the end of the day. And that's the reason why a lot of us buy things, including this. And I just wanted to like bring you guys along on my thought process of like what I've been struggling with actually for the past full on 19 days. Like I just, I literally can't get this fucking stupid ass Kindle situation out of my head. I keep fighting those thoughts every day. For like the past week, I've woken up every morning and been like, wow, I wish I could just see the cover of my book on my Kindle. But then I'm like, do I need to spend 20 extra dollars to do that? Cause I'm just gonna open it up and read it anyway. So who freaking cares? Because also usually it's covered by this, but then I'm like, like, do I even still want this? Do I want to declutter it? I don't know, because it's kind of annoying the way that it's in there. It's not like 100% centered, so I feel like when I'm reading, I'm always like pushing it over to the side. This is a stupid, stupid thing, but it's what I've been thinking about. I'm gonna hold on to it for now, just because I'm really liking the like just Kindle situation that I'm currently experiencing, but I don't wanna just be rash and like get rid of it because I'm like, oh, I just really like the regular Kindle look because maybe I'll want that in the future. But then I'm like, what, where is that coming from? Is that scarcity mindset? Is that girl, if you get rid of that, you won't be able to buy another case. So, mm, mm, okay, I'm glad we had this chat, everyone. <laughs> This is just my unfiltered thoughts and hopefully this is helpful to someone out there who feels like they're also struggling in a similar way. You're not alone and I'm not a perfect person. I'm not immune. Just because I did a low buy year, uh, I'm realizing last year because of my minimalism does not mean that I still don't want to buy things. I still am a recovering shopaholic and that never goes away for the rest of your life, unfortunately. Uh, the urges become a lot less. But for me, this Kindle situation has been on my mind 24 seven for like a week now. And it's starting to get really annoying. Um, I really, really, really want to fall into the urges so bad. Like I literally just want to spend the $27 that it would take to get this off of my mind. But that's the easy way out for me right now. That's the easy way out of just like soothing my little, it needs to be aesthetic, it needs to be whatever. I need to just breathe into it and remind myself that it's fine. And see, now what am I doing? Picking at my fingers. This is real time me having anxious energy and just like sharing my thought process with you guys, which some of you said would be helpful. So hopefully, this is helpful. Oh my God, okay. <sighs> that was basically the only other thing that I was like, should I declutter this, should I not? <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm back, I'm back in here. What do you mean back? You were just watching me one second ago and this is me a couple hours in the future. I've talked to my boyfriend about it and I've decided that I'm gonna keep the case but I'm only gonna use it when I go outside of the apartment. 
So like at work, on the subway, traveling, whatever, I'll have the case. Sure, maybe I won't keep this case forever. Maybe I'll ask for a new one for my birthday, but my birthday is also in friggin' November. So I'll be fine. I'll get used to it. I'll get over it. I'm super tired in case you can't tell. It's actually, it's really, it's almost midnight. So a couple hours later, Grace has had some time to think about it. And that's the decision that I feel like I've come to for now. Um, I'm gonna see what I can do about these Kindle ads, but I'm keeping the case for now. I guess this is what a no buy year is about, building character, whatever. Anyways, I'll let other Grace keep talking. Okay guys, we are here at my desk. Also ignore, I have to fix the, I think something is a little loose. My boyfriend and my brother made the PC. This is the PC guys. This is me at my desk. Cute. Okay, I was just chatting with some people at Discord and allegedly, if you ask really nicely to the Amazon employees, they will give you ad free Kindle. Hold on. This is better? Yeah, that's better. So let's, let's try it. I was just about to start editing this video actually. So sorry for the brief intermission. Okay, I'm really scared. I don't know if this is gonna work, but we'll see. Guys, I'm scared. I really hope this works. Uh -huh. I feel like that's now the new fun of the no buy is not buying things. It's like the thrill of the hunt. <laughs> How? I just want to talk to someone. Contact. Hello? I just want to talk. Just want to talk. Hello? They make it hard on purpose. I just want to chat. I just want to chat. <gasps> okay, there we go. That took so long to figure out. Please do it for free. Chat with an associate. Hi. Just wondering if there was any way you can take the ads off my device. Please do it for free. I swear to God, if they just like take it out of my credit card, I'm gonna be so sad if they just use the credit card that's on file. Akash, please. Please. I know you work for Amazon, but you probably don't like them either. We don't, we all don't like them. Please just do this for me. This little $20 comrade gesture, it's all I need. I'm just like, I spent so much money on books and I'm trying to save money this year. So seeing the ads every day is making it hard. Akash, I swear to God, you're gonna be my best friend by the end of the day. We're waiting, guys, <laughs> we're waiting. This is the biggest moment of my life right now. I feel like my child is getting surgery. Like. Am I deranged? Is this what my life has come to? <laughs> Freaking out and going feral on the internet about getting the fucking ads taken off of my Kindle for free. <laughs> please allow me a moment to check this for you. Akash, please, please. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It means more than I can say. <laughs> Am I okay? I don't know. I really don't know, guys. Oh, no. Guys, this is so unhinged. My my camera just ran out of, it ran out of storage on my SD card, so I have to now very quickly move stuff over, but I don't want to miss my reaction to seeing what this man does and says. Akash, please. What's happening? Give me an update. I'm sitting on the edge of my seat here. I still have ads. Akash, please help me. <gasps> it just switched. I can display the cover of the book that I'm reading. I reset it like Akash told me. Ah! I'm so excited. Now I have the cover! I could not be happier right now. 
Oh my god. Wow. Oh my gosh. I, I don't have any words to say. Akash said, thank you for your patience and understanding. No, thank you. He said, I would like to inform you that as per Amazon's policy, we usually charge 15 to $20. However, I can see a loyal value customer. We will waive the charges for you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Akash. I truly appreciate it. Have the most wonderful day. Thank you so much. Five out of five stars, five stars. Friendly, attentive, knowledgeable, easy to understand, overall service. Akash is the best, give this man a raise. We did it guys. <laughs> oh my God. Why am I going so feral right now? Oh, I'm so happy right now. It's the little things, everyone. It's really the little things. So, I don't know, if you've watched all the way till now, thanks for staying along on this journey of like decluttering my house and my mind of all of these little jumbly thoughts. And I think I'm gonna end the video here because I've done all the decluttering that I wanted to do and uh, I have some more laundry to put away. Of course I do, what's new? Cause as you saw today, even just cleaning out my fridge took a lot of me like fighting myself to do it. So this is me just being real with you guys. That's all, that's all, that's all for today, folks, okay? I will see you guys in the next one, which is actually coming out on Thursday, and it's gonna be about my eczema journey, which I actually talked, weirdly enough, a lot about in this video because of the food stuff. But anyways, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you so much. I'm sending you all my love, and until I see you again, what do I usually say at the end of these videos? I'm sending you all my love because we're all just trying our best out here. And that's so true when you really think about it. Anyways, <laughs> I need to stop. Bye, see you guys later.